What is up guys? Aloha from Hawaii. We are here making lunch and I just got done skating. It was a super fun session. It's Saturday, it's the weekend, and I'm feeling something a little bit on the heavier side for lunch. And I really like Gardein, Gardein products. This is not an ad. I totally wish I was sponsored by them, but unfortunately I had to buy this. And I actually really like their products. So, you know, I'm not just saying that because I purchased this myself and this exact um, product of theirs, the Golden Fishless Fillets, is probably one of my favorites because it really does mimic the taste of a white fish. Maybe not um, in the weird fishy kind of way, but as far as texture and crispiness, it's spot on. So we're gonna be making these up in the air fryer. And this is the air fryer. It's the most magical device I've ever experienced in my life. It's basically like a deep fryer, but it uses no oil. And I try to use a minimal amount of oil in my cooking because I personally have struggled with acne in the past and I noticed that eating oil in my diet makes my face a lot oilier and then gives me more acne. So I try to avoid oil as much as possible. I know that there is some oil already in the fish list fillets. And the great thing about the air fryer is you don't need to put any more oil. It fries everything up and it gets that nice deep fried texture crispiness, but without the oil. So this is how we're gonna be preparing the fish list fillets. We got some organic tortillas and maybe some vegetables if I can find some. And I think I'm gonna make either a mustard, maple mustard sauce or maybe, I think I might have some chipotle aioli. All of this is vegan, of course. This is a vegan recipe. And let's get started. So right now we're gonna be making a maple mustard and it's really simple. This recipe is, like I said, super simple because um, it's just gonna be sort of putting stuff together. There's no really actual difficult cooking going on. It's really hard to screw this up. So we're gonna get some yellow mustard and put it, ooh, that's gross. Maybe shake it up first. Shake it up. Get that okay, nice mustard. And I don't like mustard by itself, so I put in a lot of maple syrup. Oh, I'm getting a phone call. Hold one, one second. It's a good thing I got that phone call because this is a way better angle anyways, so you can get the up close and personal of me cooking. So I don't really like mustard, but it tastes really good with maple mustard. So it's a really sweet and it has like a kick. So I add a lot of maple syrup. Um, so it tastes a lot more than syrup than mustard, but it still has like a really nice twang. It's like a sweet and sour thing going on. And I'm gonna stir it with a chopstick because I feel like it incorporates really well that way and it feels really cool to do that. And it's hard to see a little bit, but the maple syrup and the mustard kind of don't want to be incorporated together. So it takes a, a minute for it to really turn into a nice, more brown looking than yellow sauce. So this will be one of the sauces I'm going to use on the fish tacos, vegan fish tacos. And I also have something in the fridge that I think you might really like. I've not used it in a while because usually I make my own like chipotle aioli for these tacos, but Ryan bought me some. So this is just mayo, it's vegan. It's like a chipotle mayonnaise aioli and it's a little bit spicy and it adds that really creaminess. So this is gonna go great actually with this. So I'm gonna use some double dipping in my sauces. Um, I'm not really sure what I have right now in my fridge as far as vegetables because I think we just ate the rest of the cabbage. 
but we'll see about that. So this is done. I'm gonna put this on the side while I let the fishless fillets cook. And we got our um, organic tortillas that we will heat up right before we're gonna serve everything. So we'll heat these up, get the fishless fillets out, we got our sauce, and now all I have to do is find some vegetables. So I found some vegetables. I found like one piece of lettuce. That'll be fine. I'm only making two tacos. And I found this really nice purple carrot. It's a little bit on the older side, but it's really beautiful. It has a nice purple ring on the outside and a really, really beautiful yellow ring on the inside. I'm amazed at this carrot. And I really like thinly sliced carrots. So I'm gonna slice this super thin and it'll give it a nice textural element to my dish. This dish is super simple and um, it doesn't really take a lot of work. I've probably been working for about five minutes so far. Probably been talking more than I've been working and I'm in love with the way these carrots look. Oh my gosh. I'm definitely gonna have to take an artsy photo of this dish. I actually planted some of these carrots and I'm hoping that they will grow because they just look so incredibly beautiful. I just feel so amazing while I'm eating them because it's like I'm eating a, a piece of art. It's crazy. They're like little artsy medallion carrots. I'm absolutely in awe of the way these look. So beautiful. some of the tortillas in there. Well, actually there's only two tortillas. I put both the tortillas in there to crisp up a bit and we're gonna check this out. So here we go, flip. Cool. All we gotta do now is put it on the plate. These tortillas are nice and warm. I'm definitely not gonna use all of these fishless fillets. I'll probably just use one and a half or two. Cut them up into smaller pieces with my chopstick. Ah, that's hot. Super nice and crispy on the outside. Some of it is um, extremely hot. And I'm gonna try to put it in a really pretty way. This lettuce is kind of like a cup, so I'm gonna use that and try to take advantage of that. Nice. I'm so excited to eat this. I'm so hungry. And if I decide that I want something else to eat, which I probably will, I will definitely make something else, but this is just gonna be so nice and beautiful. A beautiful way to start out lunch have a nice, oh gosh, this is so hot, but I'm just so excited. These carrots really look beautiful. I'm gonna try to arrange them in a really nice way so that I can take a really cool photo. Wow, that's amazing. These carrots, I just have to buy these carrots all the time. Or I could try to grow them, but I don't know. I don't know how long that would take. I cut them so thin and nice, so it's going to be a great texture. We are almost done. Yes, now we just have to add the sauce. Super pretty. Oh, that's a lot of the maple mustard sauce. I don't know, that might be a little bit overpowering. I think the majority of it is going to be maple mustard. We'll shake this up and add a little bit of spice in there, a little bit of the chipotle aioli. Just spice it up. Oh, my alarm's going off. Sweet, let's eat it. Okay, I'm seriously gonna feast on this right now. And I have an extra piece of fishless filet if I want some. This looks so good. Oh. Oh my gosh, mm, that sauce is just on point. First bite. 
Mmm. It's so crunchy and delicious. Wow. Sometimes I amaze myself because this was so easy to do. And like, I understand that the concept of cooking is really hard, but this was so simple. It took like 10 minutes and it looks amazing. It tastes even better than it looks, honestly. I never used to be so in love with food until I went vegan. This is amazing. This fish had a really good texture and the crunchiness of the carrots and the lettuce is just unbeatable. The phone keeps ringing. I have no idea why. I'm not gonna answer it. I'm gonna continue eating. Mm. I'm so hyped that I have another one. Thank you so much for watching this video. Um, I'm gonna continue eating this and enjoying it to the fullest extent. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, comment down below, and definitely subscribe. I'm gonna try to make some more videos like this, and while I'm traveling, I'll try to just make more food videos in general. But have a great day, and message me if you make this. It was so good.